just down at the studio uh, to bring you another practice today. So um, just find a comfortable seat for a few moments. If you need a lift under the hips, a block or a blanket, grab what you need and have it around you in your space. And uh, just find a nice seated, comfortable position where you can sit up nice and tall and relax the hands down to the lap on the knees. You can turn them up, you can turn them down. Squeeze the shoulders gently back, sit up really tall through the crown, and then just relax there with the eyes closed and start to incorporate your nice deep yogic breath. Of course, breathing through the nose and using the whole capacity that we have right now to inhale and exhale. Okay, and slowly over the next few breaths as we pay attention and focus and have a very um, conscious breath, it'll start to expand. The muscles will relax a little bit, we'll start to stretch them out and we'll get more capacity. So just take a few moments here and breathe nice and deeply, in and out of the nose. Start by drawing the breath in, of course, filling up the belly, taking it up into the ribs and the lungs, and right up as high as you can to the top of the chest. And then as you exhale, release the breath from the top, let the collarbones drop, the ribs will slowly squeeze in, and then the belly can pull up and in towards the spine. And this is pushing all of the air out of the lungs, emptying everything. And then again, inhale deeply, and fill yourself up. And just continue with your nice deep breath. So here with the breathing, if you use that ujjayi form of pranayama, that slight constriction there at the glottis, makes that slight sound that only you can hear um, in and out, that uh, you can include that now. If you don't do, use that ujjayi pranayama, just breathe nice and deep. Keep breathing deeply here, and bring your palms together at your heart center. Try to keep the eyes closed if you can. Good. Let's begin our practice today with an OM. If you'd like to join me, take a nice deep breath. Two more. Last one. Good. A couple of breaths here. Inhale, lift the shoulders straight up to the ears. Squeeze them there, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, drop the shoulders. Do that two more times. Good. Last one here. Inhale, squeeze, lift, fill up. Exhale, drop the shoulders down. Good. Let's bring the palms together. Take them just out away from you. A little pressure and start to rub the hands. So keep sitting up. Keep the gentle squeeze between the blades. A little bit of pressure here. A little smile on the face. And let's go a little bit quicker. You're almost there. A little bit faster. 
rest or not. Good, a little bit more pressure. Start to feel that heat. A little bit quicker. Good, take a really nice deep breath in. Close the eyes, exhale. Reach the hands up, breathe deeply. Feel the sensations in the hands, the arms, even in the heart. Good, take one more nice deep breath in. And exhale, relax the hands down. Just breathe a few moments there. shoulders, upper body is awake now. We're going to move into the whole spinal column here. So anything you're sitting on, you can take that out and remove it. And we're going to prepare for some cow and some cat from our table position. So fine table, palms under shoulders, knees under the hips. The feet are separating that same distance as the knees. So this keeps us uh, nice and stable. And we still use those two fists, right? Just like if we were standing on the feet. Good. Both of the feet can fit between the hands here. And you're gazing straight down to the earth. Push the earth away with the palms. Grip with those fingers and lift the space between the shoulder blades. As you extend the crown, pull the shoulders back away from the ears. So try to keep the shoulders directly over the wrist or even slightly forward there. Don't let them drift back. Good. Now push into the feet. You'll feel that engagement through the whole lower body. And we're inhaling and exhaling for a few rounds. Hold that low belly up. Keep that low back active, engaged. Good. On your next inhale, lift your tail, lift your chin, look up towards the ceiling. Now, don't let the chest and the shoulders fall back. Keep them forward over those wrists. Push into those feet. Really push into the palms. Lift the chin. Lift your gaze. Look up towards the ceiling. Breathe deeply. Good. One more nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, start to tuck the chin and tuck the tail. Again, shoulders forward, the hips will push towards the forehead here. Really arch the back. Continue to grip with the fingers, push with the palms, press into the feet. Good, take one more nice deep breath here. Full exhalation, arch the back. And then a few rounds moving. We inhale, lift the tail, lift the chin, press into the palms and feet. Exhale, we arch the back. Tuck the chin, tuck the tail, press into the palms and feet. Inhale, again, lift up into the cow, and exhale, arch into that cat. Two more here. Last one. Good, inhale to a neutral position. Now the spot is starting to warm up, and we're going to activate the muscles along it. So on your next breath in, send your right leg straight back, keep it at hip level, and point the toes straight down as you flex the foot. And again, try to keep the heart right in the center where it was. Don't let it drift over to one side or the other. Good. Keep pushing the earth away. Pull that low belly up and in. And on the next breath in, you can extend your left arm. Good, breathe here. Keep gripping with the right hand, pushing into that left foot. Draw the left shoulder back. Keep flexing the right foot, good. Inhale, lift the thumb, lift the heel, and then exhale, lower the palm, lower the knee. Let's inhale into one cow, and exhale into one cat. Inhale to neutral. Exhale and prepare for the other side, Inhale, send the left leg straight back, flex the foot. So again, analyze where the heart is, should be right in the center where it was. Press into that right foot and shin, gripping the earth with the fingers, pushing away, extend the crown. Breathe. Continue to hold that low belly up, and then inhale, next breath in, we'll lift that right arm up. 
Good. Draw the right shoulder back. Turn that palm in like you're going to shake someone's hand. And extend the fingers. Extend the heel. Push the earth away with that left hand right up to the shoulder. Good. Inhale. Reach a little further. Lift the thumb. Lift the heel. Exhale. Lower the palm. Lower the knees. And inhale. Lift the tail and chin. Exhale into cat. Arch and tuck. Inhale. Neutral. Good. So the muscles of the spine are awake. We're going to give them a little bit of work with some movement from this position. Let's inhale. Right leg. Left arm. Good. Take one more breath here. Extend a little further. Gaze forward. And then as you exhale, bring your elbow and your knee together and tuck your chin. And then inhale, lengthen, extend and lift. Exhale, tuck it all in. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale and reach. Exhale, lower the palm, lower the knee. Left side. Inhale, left leg, right arm. Exhale, squeeze the belly in. Inhale, lift the thumb, lift the heel, gaze forward. Exhale, bring it all underneath you. Squeeze and tuck. And then inhale, reach, lift and extend. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. Last one. Big reach, big breath. Exhale, lower the palm, lower the knee. Let's do one cow, one cat, and then go ahead and let your hips fall back. And take a few moments in child's pose, let the arms rest. beside the head on an inhale you can press yourself up into the Bhadrasana. Good. So from here we're going to start to move into the lower portion of the body. So it's going to work kind of mid-abdomen down through the hips, hamstrings, quads, into the lower limbs. So we're going to come back into the table and we're going to step our right foot forward. So right foot up in between the hands. And again, that distance between my right foot and that left knee is still that two-fist distance. Coming up onto the fingertips, we start to gaze forward. Now let's make sure that this knee is directly over the ankle. Don't let it be way back here, so we can make the adjustment with the left leg if we need to. So we start here. Good. Gaze in front of you. And at this point, you might be able to move that left knee back. and Point those toes way back up behind you. You can also have your blocks if you need them here in the low lunge. So this is really starting to open up the quad, the hip flexor up into the iliopsoas here. So breathe deeply. Try to draw the shoulders down. You need to lift the chin and look up. Nice low lunge. Good. Keep pushing into that right foot. Big breaths. So we can add a little bit of a back bend to this lunge and we can bring the hands up to the knee. So we can start here in this position. So try to lift yourself straight up. Hands give you a little bit of a support. Try to let the shoulders fall back, even the gentle squeeze between them. Can you start to press into those palms? See if you can send the upper body back just a little bit. We get that deeper curve here. Good. Relax the shoulders down. You can lift the chin and look up slightly. So if you don't need the support of the hands, just drop your hands down along the sides. Good. You can stay here and breathe. And then you can start to turn the palms out. If you'd like, you can lift the arms right up alongside the head. Draw those shoulders down, lift the chin, and you can gaze up between the palms. It can be shoulder distance apart or anywhere to the palms coming together. Don't let the elbows bend. Keep them straight. Draw the shoulders down. Breathe deeply. Three breaths.
Good, last breath, inhale, reach out, maybe gently back. Exhale, bring the fingertips down. Good, we're gonna take our right leg back, meet the left, and then step your left foot forward. And then again, we find our start position. So remember, the knee might be, the right knee might be under the right hip as we set up for the lunge. So left knee over the ankle, fingertips on the earth. We still can see that two fist distance between that left heel and that right knee. Now let's start to move that right leg back to our limit. That comfortable limit. So we don't want any pain, right? We want to feel something and be able to breathe deeply in this position. So again, setting it up upon the fingers, a little grip with those fingers to support the wrists, strengthen them, keep them stable. Breathe deep. Try to let those hips melt down equally. That nice stretch now coming through that right hip flexor. Good, let's take one more nice deep breath in. And exhale completely. Now, left hand and then right up to the left knee. So bring the chest and the spine straight up and down. Good, let the weight settle into those hips. The knee is still over the ankle. Good, maybe you can start to press into those hands. Bring the shoulders back at the same time. Lift the chin slightly. Breathe deeply here. Good, if you don't need the support of the hands, you can slowly release them down to the sides, squeeze between the shoulder blades, and turn the palms up. You can even stay right here if you like. We can transition up into the full aspect of the crescent. So you reach the arms up, draw those shoulders down, and start to lift the chin. Breathe. Three breaths. Last one, big deep breath comes in. Good, exhale, sweep the fingertips down to the earth. We're gonna take that left leg back to meet the right. Go ahead and let those hips fall back. Take a few breaths, child's pose. Good. So, table. We're going to step the right foot forward. Good. Now from here, we're going to roll back, walk the hands back, and see if you can sit on that left heel. Okay? If that's not comfortable, if you have your lift there, you can do that. We're going to stretch out the back side of this right leg. So pull those toes back. Sit up nice and high. Good. Inhale. And then as you exhale, you can start to walk your hands forward. Okay? So we're keeping the back straight and we're leaning the heart towards that big toe. Straight up and down here. Good. And then we can slowly start to bow to your limits. Maybe you can take a grip on the, hand, the leg or the foot or the hands can stay right on the ground. Just walk them forward. Use it to drag your heart forward. Breathe. Good, on your next inhale, start to rise up. And we're gonna transition out of this, so press yourself up, come onto the sole of the right foot, walk the hands forward, and we're gonna take the right leg back. And then we're gonna take our left foot forward, right up to the top of the mat, and then we're gonna to start to straighten the left leg, walk the hands back, to see if you can sit on that right heel. Good, so again, if that's not comfortable, you can put that lift there if you need the support. Left toes straight up, kneecap straight up, Good, we're going to sit up nice and tall here, inhale, and then exhale, just start to lean forward. You might find one side is way more tighter than the other, depending on your daily posture. Good. And the heart is reaching towards the toes, we're looking where we're going, so we're walking those hands forward. Inhale, nice deep breath, and then exhale, fold over that left leg. Really pull those toes back towards the top of the head. Good, maybe those arms can walk forward, gentle grip, pulling you. Squeeze between the shoulder blades. Breathe deeply. Good. Take one more nice deep breath in. 
exhale, fold to that furthest place. Good, and then inhale, slowly start to sit up, walk those hands back. We're gonna pop our hips up off the heel, walk ourselves forward, back into table. Good, now, right foot forward, left foot forward, Start in a rag doll. So we've got to bend the knees. See if you can let the low abdomen and ribs rest on the thighs. Deep bend. Just like you're going to sit down into a chair. But not quite. Relax your head. Don't touch anything with the fingers. So if the hands come down, you can turn the palms up. Or take that lacing into the opposite elbow. Breathe. Good. Give your head a gentle shake as if saying yes. And then pause. And then say no. Do that again. Start to say yes. Pause and then say no. Back and forth, side to side. Okay, relax the head. Good. So start to push into the feet. See if you can lift the hips up towards the ceiling here. So think about the weight that's in the feet now. Is it all in your heels and your hips falling way back? Try to bring some forward into the toes. Hips over the ankles. Good, push firmly to the entire foot. Now, if you have those hands released, everybody can take that interlacing and press your shoulders down towards the earth. Breathe, take one more nice deep breath in. Exhale, relax the hands down, relax the head. Keep them relaxed, soften into the knees a little bit. And from here, we're gonna to start to roll up to a standing position. Take several breaths here. Slowly coming up. We're in our Tadasana here. Mountain posture. Standing nice and tall. So we're going to include a little bit of movement. You guys all know the sun, know the sun salutations. So we'll just do a couple here to incorporate all of the body. And we've warmed up slowly. Take a nice deep breath in. And exhale, bring your palms together in your heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up, look up. And then exhale, start to reach forward again, folding over the hips. Inhale, step the right leg back, fill up, look up. Hold the breath, step your left leg back, top of a push up. And then exhale, we're going to lower the body down with control. Point the toes. And then inhale, peel up, gentle back bend. Exhale, relax the body down, curl the toes. Inhale, push up. And as you exhale, press back. Now, first downward dog, we've started to lengthen the body, so just walk it out. Push into the inner edges, the thumbs and the peace fingers of the hands. And then settle into both the feet now. Roll the weight into the big toes, inner edges of the heels. Breathe. Hold the low belly up and in. Good. Same foot we started for, with. On an inhale, step the right foot forward, lower to the left knee, point the toes. Fill up your lungs, curl the left toes, let's exhale, step forward and fold. Inhale, reach forward, up, gentle arch, exhale, relax the arms down. Let's do a couple more. Inhale, and exhale, palms together, nice and smooth. Inhale, reach up, look up. Good. Exhale, reach forward, fold, left foot. Inhale, step back, fill up, look up. Hold your breath, step back, top of the push-up. Now exhale, lower the body. Inhale, peel up. This time, curl your toes and exhale, press right up and back. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, settle into the palms and both the feet. One more breath here. Inhale, nice long spine. Exhale, ground into the earth. Left foot. Inhale, step forward, drop to the right knee, point the toe, fill up the lungs. Curl the left toe, exhale, step forward and fold. Inhale, reach up, look up, arch back. Exhale, relax the arms down. Let's do two more. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, forward fold, plant the palms. Inhale, step the right leg back, fill up, look up. Then step the left foot back, top of a push up. Exhale, lower the body down. Inhale, peel up, gentle cobra. Curl the toes, exhale. Up and back, same foot, right, inhale, step forward, lower the left knee, fill up, look up, curl the left toes, exhale, and fold, inhale, reach up, exhale, relax the arms down, take a nice deep breath in, exhale, palms together, good, last one, inhale, reach up, look up, 
Exhale, take the forward fold. Fingertips to the earth, left foot. Inhale, good, step back. Good, hold the breath with right foot back. Exhale, lower down. Good, inhale, peel up. Curl the toes. Exhale, push up and down. Good, inhale, left foot forward. Right knees down, foot bones, look up. Exhale, right foot forward and fold. Inhale, reach forward up, arch back. Exhale, relax the arms down. Just stand here, nice and comfortably in Tadasana, and breathe. So we're going to prepare here to come into some side body work. So come to a wide-legged stance, such as this. Let the arms relax down to the sides. Good. Let your heels fall out a little bit, so we're slightly pigeonholed here. Good. Softness into the knees. Hands come to the hips. So let's inhale, lift the chin, look up. And exhale, we'll start with this forward fold. Bring the fingertips down underneath the shoulders. Good. So we're doing a wide leg version here, right? So we want to bring our hands out, torso distance away. Take a breath in, extend, and look forward. And as you exhale, start to bow your heart, heart down and walk the hands out. Try to plant the whole palm. So your palm might plant here. You might be able to walk them back in line with the heels. So we try to keep our palms planted under the shoulders and the elbows squeeze into that same distance. Inhale, gaze slightly forward, lift your hands. Now exhale, use the strength of the arms to start to draw yourself down into this forward fold. Let your head go. Knees up towards the navel. Let the weight come into the toes as well, so not just resting in the heels, and push into those feet. Good, feel that length, that stretch there. Good, take one more nice deep breath in here, and exhale, fold to your furthest place. And let's inhale, Come up, and that flat back. Soften into your knees. Take your hands to your hips, and then inhale, rise up. Good. So we're going to take our right foot, and we're going to turn it out, so point it straight out. We're going to meet the left foot right where it is, and bend into that left knee. Good, nice and open. We're going to take that right foot, pardon me, and make it parallel with the back edge of your mat. So we just pivot the toes. So that's nice and straight. You take your arms up to a T now. So we want the spine to straight, stay straight up and down. We don't want to lean forward. We don't want to lean way back. So we want to maintain this nice, nice straight spine. So take the arms up to a T. So you might need to adjust your reach. And then turn and gaze down that right middle finger. Good. As we're in this warrior two, we're going to press into our right big toe and just gently let the knee fall out towards the pinky toe edge. Good, breathe deep. Turn your right palm up and relax your left hand down to that left thigh. On an inhale, reach the right hand up to the ceiling, straight up above you. Now you have that kickstand there with that left hand you can start to let that right hand fall back. Take that nice arch. Open up that right side of the rib cage. Working that right leg. Good. Inhale. Reach back just a little bit further. And on the exhale, bring your left forearm down to the right, sorry, your right forearm down to the right knee. And lift your left hand up to the sky. Good. We're just in this position, reaching, almost like you could lift yourself out of that right forearm. Turn the left palm to the back of your space and start to reach. Keep gazing up towards the ceiling or towards that wrist. Don't dump into that right shoulder. Press and lift out of it. Breathe. Good. Take one more nice deep breath in. As you exhale, look down to the right big toe. And then inhale, let's rise back up to that T, straight the right leg. Now we're going to turn the right toes in, and we're going to turn the left toes all the way up. So that right foot is now parallel to the back edge of your mat. 
We're going to bend into that left knee. Good. So remember, try not to reach forward. Try to keep that spine straight up and down. Turn your chin. Gaze down the left fingers. Settle into those hips. Melt them down. Gently tuck the tail. Hold the low abdomen in. Breathe deeply here. Push heavily into that left big toe and let the knee gently fall out towards the pinky toe edge. Breathe. Good. Turn your left palm up and relax the right hand down to the right thigh. On your next breath in, reach those left fingers straight up to the sky. Good. Now we've got this kickstand here to support us. Start to let that left hand fall back. Nice deep arch here, opening up the left side of the rib and chest. Working that left leg. Good. Take one more nice deep breath in, reach back. As you exhale, left forearm to left knee, palm is up. Right fingertips straight up to the ceiling. Gaze up towards that palm. Good. Again, don't collapse into that left shoulder. Lift out of it. Really extend out. Turn that right palm and reach it over the body. Good. Gaze into the ceiling, up towards that wrist. Extend. Good. Inhale. Reach just a little bit further. Exhale. Gaze down to that left big toe. And then inhale. Rise up to the T. Straighten the left leg. Now let's turn those left toes in. Relax the arms down. Heel toe your feet back in so you're at that one leg's leg apart. And let the heels fall out. You can move those hips a little bit if you like. We're going to come into another uh, wide-legged forward fold, a little bit different this time. So we're going to take the hands behind the back and interlace the fingers. Okay. So squeeze those arms together, squeeze the shoulders together. Reach those knuckles down towards the earth. Hold the low ribs in. Good. Lift the chin. Look up. And as you exhale, start to lean forward over the open legs, lift the knuckles, lift the hips, and bring some weight into the toes. Let the head dangle down towards the earth. Breathe deeply. So it's just like home. You've got some cleaning going on in the building. So you just act like you're there. Nice deep breath. Take one more nice deep breath in, fill up, reach those knuckles up. Exhale, relax the arms down in front of you. Inhale, rise up onto the fingers. Now, we're going to bring the left hand in front of the face. Take your right arm out like a wing. Good, so we've got that hand planted right under the face. We take the right arm out like a wing, we're gazing at that right thumb. And we're going to inhale, lift that right arm up towards the ceiling. Breathe here. Don't dump into that left wrist. Push the earth away. Take one more nice deep breath in. And we're going to exhale. Bring your right hands down in front of your face. Take the left arm up like a wing. Sorry I'm not reversed here this time. Good. Gazing. Lifting up those right fingers. Inhale. Lift the fingers up. Breathe deep. Don't collapse into that right hand. Keep it strong. Lift those left fingers. Take one more nice deep breath in. Exhale. Lower the left fingers down. Separate your hands, shoulder distance. Soften into the knees. Good. Bring your hands to your hips. And then inhale. Come all the way up. Good. We're going to heel toe. Those feet together. Good. Relax the arms down and breathe. Good. Let's bring the hands to the heart center here. Gazing forward, we're going to lift the arms right up alongside the head. Draw the shoulders down. Good. Palms are separated, shoulder distance apart. Take a nice deep breath in, and we're going to start to lean over towards that right side. Good, so we're leaning over towards the right. Left hip is pushing out gently. Lots of weight in both of the feet. We're sandwiching the head in between those arms. They can be shoulder distance. If you keep the arms uh, straight as you bring the palms together, you can do that as well. 
Good, maybe you can even turn your chin and look up in front of that left arm. Keep pushing the left hip out. Good, take one more nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, look down to the right. And then inhale, slowly come up to center. Draw those shoulders back. Inhale, deep breath, come in. And then exhale, start to lean over to the left. Good again. Keeping the head frame there with the arms separated or the palms together or apart. Pushing heavily into both the feet. Let that right hip start to push out to the side and breathe deeply. Maybe you can even gaze up towards the ceiling in front of that right arm. Good. Take a really nice deep breath in. Come up. Good. Exhale. Relax the arms down. Good. So from here, we're going to step up back to the top of your mat if you've moved positions. We're going to bring the big toes together and leave some space between the heels, just a little bit. Good. Squeeze your thighs together. We're going to start to sit down into a chair. So we're going to start with the hands on the thighs. They're squeezing together and we've got our arms straight here. Good. Tuck your tail and hold the low belly in. Squeeze between the shoulder blades. Good. Sit just a little bit deeper if you can. Good. Now, take your arms straight out in front of you. Draw your shoulders back. The hands are separated. Shoulder distance. Good. And then inhale. Start to lift your palms up. Lift your chin up. Look up between those palms. Draw those shoulders back and down. Sit down a little bit deeper into that chin. Good. Take one more nice deep breath in here. Reach up. Look up. Good. Exhale. We'll take the forward fold and draw the chin, nose, forehead in. That's inhale. Come up to the fingertips or hands under the shins. Exhale. Walk yourself down. Let's do that again. Inhale. Come up halfway. Lift the shoulders. Expose the heart. Extend the crown. Exhale. Fold, fold, fold. Last one. Come up. Level spine. Exhale. We're going to take a grip on the back of the legs. Draw yourself down and hold this for three breaths. Last breath, push into those feet, extend the crown. Exhale, draw yourself in half, then start to bend the knees, sit the hips back. And we're going to come into this position here. So Utkatasana with the arms straight out in front of you. Good. Draw those shoulders back. Look at your right thumb, and then inhale, take your right arm back. Good. So don't let your hips move here. Keep pushing that right knee into the left to stabilize the hips. Turn the chin, move back towards the right thumb. Breathe. Take one more nice deep breath in. Exhale, bring the right palm forward, and look at the left thumb. And now inhale, take the left arm back. And here we push left knee into right, Breathe. Good. Inhale. Reach back. Exhale. Left palm forward. Good. Inhale. Stand straight. Reach up. Look up. Arch back. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Half lift. Exhale. Plant your palms. Step back and lower down to the belly here. Make a little pillow with the hands and just take a couple of breaths, a couple of moments of relaxation. Big toes touch, heels fall apart. Let's separate those hands, bring the forehead down, and let's go ahead and bring those palms right back beside the chest. So make sure those fingers are past the tops of the shoulders here, right beside the pecs. Squeeze the elbows in. Grip with those fingertips, legs together, top of the feet down, press heavily into the feet to lift the knees. Now grip with the fingers and inhale, send the chin forward, and lift through the back of the head. Press firmly into the feet. Press into those palms, pull back. Drag that heart forward, elbows in towards the sides. Drop those shoulders down, and breathe.
Good, now push heavily into the palms, keep the hips connected, and see if you can start to lift up. So keep a bend in the elbows, don't straighten the arms, lift your chin, lift your gaze, push into the tops of the feet, take one more nice deep breath in here, exhale, lower the body down. Curl the toes, we're gonna inhale, push up to the knees, and exhale. With the toes curled under, we're gonna press ourselves back. So we bring the hips back towards the heels, the forearms are on the earth here, shoulder distance apart, and we're just pressing here, relax your head. Starting to stretch out the feet. Good. On your next breath in, we're going to start to come up onto the palms, walk the hands back. Keep the toes curled under. See if you can bring your thighs together here. Good. So we're sitting in Vrindasana, adding a little bit of weight to the stretch now. We were pushing before, now it's just nice and light. We can sit. And again, if this is too much, remember you can always keep your fingertips on the earth, anywhere in between. Relax here. You might do this one regularly to open up the feet. Uh, and if you do, you might be able to lean back, even bring the fingertips to the earth, and walk back. So we want to keep the glutes connected to the heels as close as possible. It's not really about the back bend, this just adds extra weight, really nice stretch to the feet. You can even look up to the ceiling if you like. Take one more nice deep breath here. Exhale. We can start to bring the hands forward to the thighs, then down to the earth. We're going to walk ourselves forward a little bit here, and then lift your feet and point the toes. Bring the heels in tight towards the buttocks. Point, point, point. Good. And then flex and spread out the toes. Let's do that again. Point, 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 and then flex, flex, flex. Last one, point the feet, and this time we're gonna go ahead and relax back onto those shins and the tops of the feet. Counter pose for the foot is this here. So we're sitting in Varasana, legs are together, and the fingers can come back just a little bit. Now, we're gonna to start to see if we can lift those knees up. Good, lift the knees up, maybe coming to the ankles, Tops of the feet. Good, you've got those hands as support here. Lift your heart. Gazing forward, a little smile on the face, some nice deep breaths here. So, depending again, if you do this one regularly, a nice stretch here. Maybe you don't need the hands, something to try. Or we don't want any pain, we don't want to go too far. Good, so take one more nice deep breath in, and then exhale. You can lower the hands if you lifted them, bring the shins down, and we can. Come over onto one hip and send the legs around. Good. Extend the legs straight out in front of you. Remove any of the flesh from the sit bones. And again, if you regularly use something as a lift, such as this blanket, not too high, but just the edge of the hip. So we can use that. Good. Get that little tip to the pelvis. Helps me sit up nice and tall. Hold those low ribs in. Let's bring the palms right beside our hips here and squeeze between the blades. Let's keep that heart nice and open. Chin is level with the earth to start here with the awesome. Good, nice deep breath comes in. Exhale completely. Now let's inhale, sweep the arms forward right up alongside the ears. So draw your shoulders down. The heart is exposed, big breath comes in. Exhale, lean the heart towards the toes. The arms are still right alongside the head. Inhale, sit back up. And then exhale, Lean towards the toes. Good. Inhale. Sit back. Good. Exhale. Lean towards the toes and let the hands come down. So you might reach the toes, the feet, the ankles, or the calves. So take that comfortable grip. So we're not overreaching. We just have a comfortable grip somewhere. So we can use a little bit of our upper body strength to drag the heart forward. So make sure you can pull your shoulders back. Good. We're still looking towards those toes. Still bringing the heart towards them. Take one more nice deep breath here. Exhale, go that a little bit further. Don't let the back round and bow the chin. So here we're reaching the top of the head forward now, extending it as we draw the shoulders back and pull the spine towards the thighs, towards those toes. The toes are pulling back towards the top of my head. Breathe deeply. Good. Inhale, look forward, lengthen, exhale.
exhale, reach the arms alongside the head. Now, big breath comes in. Lift the arms and the torso up, turn the palms out, and exhale, circle the arms down. If you're sitting on something, go ahead and remove that. Good, make sure your feet are up at the top of your mat. Take your arms straight out in front of you. Sit up nice and high. Big breath comes in. And now exhale, start to lower yourself down. So flexing the feet, using those core muscles to slowly lower, a little tuck to the tail. Good, keep reaching those fingers, lower back, mid back, upper back. Now point the toes, circle the arms back alongside the head, take a really nice deep breath in. Exhale, let's relax the arms down to the sides. So here we're gonna bend the knees and plant at the feet. So you wanna walk them back as close to you as you can. And again, separate them that two fist distance. Good. Arms are like railings. Shoulders press back, pick up the head, tuck in the chin. And now tuck the tail and bring that low back in contact with the earth. Push into your feet, palms, Shoulders, back of the head, and inhale, start to lift the hips up. Good. So we're going to start right here. So push heavily into both of your feet. Try to lift the hips up as much as you can. Knees set to the front of the room. Now press into those palms. Every finger, every knuckle. Good. The length of the arms. Maybe you can lift up onto those shoulders a little bit higher. Good. Lift those hips, navel, low ribs. That heart center lifts up a little bit higher and moves towards the chin. Now, maybe you can start to walk those hands towards one another. Maybe the thumbs touch. Maybe you can interlace the hands and straighten the arms. Come up a little bit higher if you're there. Good. Keep pressing into the length of the arms wherever you are. Push into both of your feet. Breathe deeply. Good, inhale, rise up onto the toes, separate the arms from underneath you, and slowly lower from the upper, middle, and down to the low back. Let's go ahead and draw those knees loosely up into the chest, take a gentle grip there, and just take a few rocks from side to side. Hip to hip, shoulder to shoulder. Good, thoroughly moving and warming the body today. One final position will be our twist, before we get into some relaxation. So come back to the center, squeeze your legs together and flex your feet. Try to bring the shins up, level with the knees. Good, take your arms out to a T, nice and wide. Palms down, not any higher than the shoulders. Take a really nice deep breath in, and now as you exhale, start to let your legs go to the right, look to the left, but don't let the legs touch, just squeeze and hover there. Keep that left shoulder heavy down to the earth. Keep breathing. Just breathing and hovering. Lots of weight in that right hand. Next breath in, bring your chin and your legs back up. And as you exhale, slowly allow the legs to go to the left. Don't let them touch down. Turn your chin towards the right. And breathe here as you hover the legs. Lots of weight in this left hand. Roll that right shoulder back. Breathe deeply. Good. One more nice deep breath in. Full exhalation. Good. Inhale. Bring the chin and the knees back up. And as you exhale, let your legs go all the way to the right and down. Relax them. Turn your chin to the left. Close the eyes. And maybe you can turn the palms up here and breathe nice and deep. Let go of the body here in this twist. Nice, full, deep breaths. Rotating the spine. Stretching and compressing. We're getting that nice length on one side as it rotates and spirals. And subtle compression on the other. Deep breath. This helps manipulate the organs. We're working the right side ascending colon, and the right flexion, kidney, adrenal, and the liver.
Good, take one more nice deep breath in here. Really fill yourself up. As you exhale, release all the breath. Squeeze the navel in, turn the palms down. And as you inhale, bring the chin and the knees up. And as you exhale, allow the chin to move to the right and the legs to the left. Relax the legs down. Right shoulder presses back. Turn the palms up here if you'd like. Close the eyes and breathe. And here we're working with the left lower quadrant. Same results with the spine, just on the opposite direction. What was compressed is now stretched, and what was stretched is now compressed. Lower left quadrant is the descending colon and exit, as well as the kidney and the adrenal gland here, manipulating the organ system. Nice deep breath. Good. One more nice deep breath comes in. Full exhalation to let that breath go. Turn the palms down. On the inhale, we bring the chin and the legs back up to the top. Let's go ahead and reach up for those knees. Let's go ahead and rock from side to side a few times, if you like. Good. So return to the center. We're going to go ahead and wrap the forearms around the shins. So lift your, good, lift your head up, tuck your chin. Good, flex your feet, but then curl the toes in. Start to squeeze yourself into a tight little ball. Every muscle in the body, right up to the tip of the nose. Everything squeezing, squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then release your limbs. Send them out. Feet to the top of the mat, separate them. Turn the palms up, slide your arms out equally, and relax the body here in Shavasana. And here, if you need to put on any clothes or a blanket to make yourself comfortable and warm, you can go ahead and do that. Otherwise, just relax and take a few moments of relaxation. Five, ten minutes if you have it. Relax. That all the benefits of this practice just kind of melt into you now. Breathe deep. And then release that last breath. Let that work go of the breath. Just let it be natural. As it is.
Let's take that movement up into the wrist and the ankle, circling the hands and the feet. Pause and go in the opposite direction. So let your head rock from side to side. Good, turn your chin back to center. Slide the legs together, pointing the toes. Circle the arms back, reach the fingers. Take a really nice deep breath in, stretch the body. And then exhale, relax the arms down. Let's draw the knees up into the chest and just rock a few times. Good, and then from here you can roll over to your right side, plant your left palm and slowly press yourself up to a comfortable cross-legged seated position. Try to keep the eyes closed here if you can. Sit up nice and tall through the crowd. Let's bring the hands to the heart center. Bowing the chin here, taking a moment to thank ourselves for the time we've taken for ourselves. And this helps us benefit everyone we come in contact with. Send that silent thank you out to the world for all our friends, our, our family. Connect with them mentally. I thank you for sharing this practice with me and allowing me to be here to continue to share this yoga with you. Till we see each other again, namaste.